Now, there is nothing worse than slaving over a cake, setting up a scene, spending all this time taking a photo, and then you find out it's not in focus and you can't work out why. So I've helped hundreds of photographers and I often get emails asking me to help people with their focus issues. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have a whole bunch of tricks in your bag to help you get those super crisp, sharp photos that you're after. Hey, I'm Rachel Koronek, professional food photographer, helping you take incredible photos that are good enough to eat. I'm gonna zoom through these tips really quickly and then we're gonna look at three examples to try and help you identify your focus issues. Focus is one of those things, unfortunately, that we do need to troubleshoot. So here are the steps that I would go through. The first one is to use single point focus. So set that on your camera, make sure you use it to hone in on the exact detail that you wanna focus on. Now, if you're using a tethering workflow, and I highly recommend that you do, you can use editing tools or tools in your editing software like Live View, and you can zoom in and make sure that you're focusing on the exact detail that you're after. You can also use things like Capture One's Focus Mask to make sure you know visually what's showing up in focus. You might come across when you're shooting, there might be a lack of contrast or a lack of texture or a particular light. And so autofocus is finding it really hard because there isn't enough contrast. So you either need to pick a different point, have more contrast in your shot, or use manual focus. The way I usually get perfect focus is because I use a tethering workflow and I use live view in conjunction with autofocus. And I zoom in to the exact part that I want to focus on, I use autofocus. If that's not working for you, you can switch to manual. But that combination of zooming in either in your tethering software or on the back of your camera to make sure that area is in focus is really important. The next thing to think about, it might not actually be a focus issue. You might have chosen an aperture that when you shot it, it was very shallow. So it looks soft. So if that's the case, I always recommend shooting a range of apertures to see if that was the issue. The other thing that it could be is because we can only focus on one thing at a time, something else in your frame might not be in the plane of focus, making it appear out of focus. If you need to know more about plane of focus, Check out the link below because I have a whole blog post that's going to walk you through that. The last thing to look for is, is it out of focus because there's camera shake? Now, I get a bunch of emails from people or I have students that I teach and they're like, why is my images out of focus? So we're going to go through three examples to help you identify the focus issue and then how to solve it. So I jumped on my laptop, I went through and found this orange margarita shoot and I looked through it to see if there were any focus issues. So the first one is missed focus. So in this image, I just used the focus on the back of the camera and took the shot. Now it focused in the incorrect part of the glass. I really wanted the garnish to be in crisp focus. So when I looked at it, I could see that it was focusing on a different part. And then what I needed to do was zoom in in live view, use autofocus to focus on the exact area that I wanted to, take the photo, and so this was the focus afterwards. Still to this day on all my photo shoots, I shoot a range of apertures. And sometimes I just need to see what looks best for the subject. So this photo here, I was shooting at f3.5 and it was a little bit too shallow. So it almost feels like it's out of focus, but it's just the incorrect aperture for what I was after. So I switched the aperture to a higher aperture, f6.3, and you can see that it's definitely in focus. So using a range of apertures will help you decide what the best focus is for your subject and that beautiful detail that you're trying to capture. The last one is camera shake. So this is what camera shake looks like. It's very out of focus and we can almost see that things are like moving around. So I was shooting on a tripod. Even though the one in focus is the same settings, I actually used the shutter on the camera to take the photo. And that probably introduced some camera shake. So when I zoomed in and saw that, I went ahead and took another photo and I used my computer because I tethered to take the shot and it was crisp. So if you're experiencing any focus issues, make sure you eliminate camera shake. You're going to want to make sure you play around with your aperture so that what you want to capture in focus is in focus. Make sure that subject or that area is in the plane of focus. You're going to want to make sure that the area has enough contrast for the lens to focus on. 
Switch between auto and manual focus. You can also use live view in your tethering software on the back of the camera to make sure you zoom in and get that exact detail in focus. Single point focus is really helpful to help you do that as well. And you can use tools like Capture One's focus mask to visually see what's in focus. Hopefully those tips help you to get tack shot photos because there is nothing worse than spending all that time baking and styling to have that photo out of focus. Having trouble with your food focus? Food focus. Hopefully those tilt tilts. Photos that are good.